staying in campgrounds and living in a big RV and, and, and actually living, man, that's not being an RV nomad. What's up, blind viewers? A happy Halloween. I just did a video where I talked about a channel that I really enjoy. And, uh, you know, they talked about things about, you know, the RVing and, and they talked the truth and they said, look, it's not real cheap and it's not that easy. And, you know, there are some things and there's some bumps in the road. And boy, did some people really get pissy about that one. The one big thing that was said a lot was uh, their name. It says it all. Grateful Glamper. That's right. Grateful Glamper. Good channel. I like their channel. I enjoy their content and I enjoy their honesty. Now, the other common argument was that, uh, oh, well, they have a big old rig and they stay in campgrounds and they don't even try to watch what they spend. So in other words, if you actually live, yeah, live, you know, and have a good time and enjoy yourself and go places and see and do things, uh, you know, spend money and live comfortably. Well, that's not full time RV living. You have to sit in the desert and only go to BLM land. That's the only way to do it. If you go out there and actually travel and have fun, spend money. No. That's not full-time RVing. There's no having fun in RVing. See, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. You had to tell everybody how wonderful it is in one sentence and then how miserable it is and how much you need money because you don't have two nickels to rub together in the next sentence. You know, you live in your tiny little tin can and you park everywhere you can for free. You do nothing and you save money. Yeah, you can't be driving around and shit because that costs money. You got to sit still and, and play in the sand. Well, hey, let me tell you this. I can live in a one-room shack and sit around in a shitty neighborhood and eat ramen noodles, and I bet that is far more cheaper than full-time RVing. See, the people bitching about what these people say, they're the ones that uh, squeeze their ass in a little RV and go from quartzite to somewhere in Washington somewhere, and they think that is living. Some people like to watch TV, flush a toilet after they take a shit, uh, you know, take a shower, turn on an air conditioner, you know, eat real food, and go and see and experience shit. I mean, after all, isn't that why this uh, lifestyle is so fucking great? You can go see things and do things, and you can take your house with you while you do it. You know, not everyone is content with looking out the window and seeing shit whiz by out and by the windshield, you know? Uh, not everyone's dream home is the LTVA in Arizona. Some people actually like to enjoy shit. I say it all the time. It's 2022. Almost 2023. Just around the corner. You all use your technology, don't you? Oh, yeah. You all have your smartphones, your GPS, and all your apps, and your cell phone boosters, and your solar panels, and your jackeries, or other battery packs, or whatever the fuck you use. Yet, you aren't happy without the basic necessities. You use all this technology, but yet, <laughs> you shit in the bucket, and yet, yeah, dump your black tanks in the wash in the desert because you don't want to spend money. But yet, it's a lot freer than, you know, living in a house. I mean, even in sticks and bricks, there's all kinds of different people, right? Right? Some people like to live, not just exist, you know? Some people live in big, luxurious homes, and they have uh, a couple of really nice cars, and they live in expansive, gated communities, and all that other good shit. Well, other people live in the burbs and just go about, they have decent jobs, you know, a nice little car, and, you know, the soccer mom has her little van, and she has the little kids that she runs around. And then there's other ones that live near or just outside of cities that uh, have shitty jobs, live in shitty neighborhoods, and live paycheck to paycheck. So, it's no different in the RV community. Some people, yeah, you live in your little car, you and your dog and your cat, and you live in your little, you cuddle up in your little blanket and you park next to the bob and you hope everything will be okay. And there's other people that have fucking ginormous class A's and drag a really nice Jeep or something behind them. And they actually go and do and see. And then they go to campgrounds. They turn on their air conditioner once fucking 100 degrees and they sit in there and they go, ha ha, this is fucking nice. So yeah. It's the same. That's right. Some people, just because they live in an RV, doesn't mean they have to sweat their balls off. That's right. They would like to turn on AC. And they like to take a, a nice, healthy, long dump and be able to flush that shit. And yes, they'd like to be able to stand in the shower and just take a nice, long, hot shower. More than once a week. So, yeah, what is the big deal? I don't understand why people got so pissy because they said, oh, it's not cheap. And it's sometimes it's not cheaper than living in a house. And there's a lot more to it. If you just watched the video, you would see. There's all kinds of stuff they said, and it's true, and you know it, and that's why 
you got so damn pissed off. Now, just because someone has the ability to actually do the shit that you only wish you could, doesn't mean that they're not true RVers or nomads. If they live full time, they live full time. Just because they have the ability to and desire to use all the comforts of actual life in 2022 doesn't make their opinions invalid. Well, they stay in campgrounds and they don't even try. Well, yeah, if they weren't living in a big old class A, guess where they'd be living? They wouldn't be living in a, in a fucking row home in the city. They'd be living in a nice big house. And again, they'd have all the creature comfort. So why not have creature comfort? Just because you live the lifestyle, does that mean you must suffer? Yeah, because you run around and you steal water from any hose bill that you can see on the side of any old gas station. And again, you uh, don't pay to dump your tanks. You just go out to the desert and you find a nice wash and you crack that fucking valve open and you dump it in the wash. Don't say you don't because you do. Yeah, you plunk your ass in BLM land and you live for free. Yeah, okay, well, what, what do you got to do to get that way? To be able to set out there. Again, you need water, you need to go dump, so you got to run back and forth. Fuel, yeah, you're saving fuel because you're not driving around because you're not doing anything. You're sitting on your ass in the desert, picking the sand out of each other's ass, and then you still, you got to get your batteries and your solar system and your charge controllers and all this other stuff, and you got your Wi-Fi boosters and your cell towers, and you got all, you got all your shit. Yeah, and you spent lots of money, but if you sat down and said, hey, look, we did spend a whole shitload of money, you realize that it isn't so free and cheap and easy and all that other bullshit. And then when your shit breaks down and then now you got to call someone to go drag your ass out of the middle of the desert. No, it's not. It's not. But you don't want to face that reality that, yeah, it's getting more expensive and it's not that cheap. But here's the biggest thing. Here's the biggest thing throughout all of this. And I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. Here it is. Here it is. Are you ready? Get your ear real, real close, because I'm going to tell you, RV lifestyle is wonderful. It's free, it's cheap, and easy. You get to go, you get to do, you get to do, yeah, but don't do that, because then you're going to start spending money. However, the biggest, the biggest thing about the RV lifestyle is the community. That's right. We're one big, happy family, and we're always there for each other, and we come and we take care of each other because we're all one big happy family. Except these people who have nice big fancy things and like the creature comforts and don't like to live in the fucking desert doing nothing. So they are not part of our community anymore. So yeah, you're a bunch of hypocritical assholes. And you don't have to agree with me, but this blind views and that's right. That's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.